Hello, my brothers and sisters, and good morning, um, or good evening, wherever you might be watching and whatever time you might be watching this. Um, I just haven't made any videos lately because I've been so busy, but I'd like to get this video out because it's important. Um, the September the 23rd, there's so many uh, mainline Christianity is pointing to September. You know, Jonathan Kahn is pointing to September. Uh, September is the time that the CERN will be uh, running at 13 TEV, which is the highest uh, 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 bombardment of the, uh, uh, the protons into each other, creating antimatter. Um, the uh, Sir Isaac Newton's uh, prophecy, it certainly connects to the 23rd of September perfectly. I, ideally, it is an exact connection because all he did was he took the book of, of Daniel and he was a scholar. Sir Isaac Newton gave us the uh, the standard model of physics and uh, saw that the the first seven in Daniel chapter 9 verse 25 know therefore and understand from the going forth of the of the command to restore and build Jerusalem unto Messiah will be seven weeks and 62 weeks and all he did was take the seven weeks and put it in back of the 62 weeks in other words he flipped it the 62 weeks first. Now we know that that would be Shabuas, which is seven times the number. So seven times seven, seven times 62. Those two numbers come out to uh, the seven, comes out to 49 years, and the 62 comes out to 434 years. Um, what's so incredible is the, is it, if you, you're using June the 7th, 1967 as your date, as your, as your stamp, as your uh, statute. From, from uh, June the 7th, 1967, that's when Israel uh, regained control of Jerusalem. That's basically when the command went forth to rebuild Jerusalem. Okay, so from it has to all work out to fulfill the Daniel scripture. So the twenty, uh, the um, so so from June the seventh, June the seventh, nineteen sixty-seven, we're going to count forty-nine years, but forty-nine years will. You know, from June the 7th just gives you June the 7th, 49 years later, all right? Which is interesting by itself, but actually it comes out to September the 23rd, 2015, because you've got to count the prophetic days. So a prophetic year is 360 days, um, not 365 and a quarter, 360. So prophetic year counts 360. So you multiply the 360 times 49, which comes out to 17,600 days. From that 17,600 days, you count from June uh, 7th, 1967, and it comes out exactly September 23rd, 2015. Now, in order to fulfill that scripture, you have to count backwards. You have to count, find out the day count for the 434 years, which is 152,600 or something like that. I, I calculated all this out. But at any rate, it comes out to uh, 1539, August the 20th, 1539, to be exact. So when you do that, you say, well, what's so, what's so grand about 1539? Well, it turns out that there was a man by the name of Suleiman the, the Magnificent that had a dream about lions chasing him, 
and killing him. And so one night when he was dreaming this dream, it was a reoccurring dream, he finally asked, he cried out to Allah, because he was a Muslim, and asked what should he do to stop this dream. And the, the voice came back was to rebuild the wall. So when he woke up, he, he made preparations and he sent a thousand purses of money to Medina in Mecca. And he also sent a thousand purses of money to rebuild the wall in Jerusalem. That's the fulfillment of Daniel to the exact day. And not only that, but during the time of 1535 to 1542, which is a seven year period, uh, in 1539, what was being finished was the Lion's Gate. The Lion's Gate is what the uh, Israeli paratroopers in uh, 1967, June the 7th, entered in through to regain Jerusalem. So this is all absolutely important to understanding that the 23rd of September is going to be major. And what I see coming is, and I've said this in other in my last video most likely, because I haven't put out a video for a while, so it's maybe I'm a little uh, off on what I'm remembering, but I believe I, I said something about the Pope is coming and the Pope is bringing his, uh, an encyclical, which is basically has to do with uh, nature and the earth and things like that. Gaia is a goddess worship, Mother Earth, that kind of thing. But um, he's, he's coming and he's going to be here the week of the, of that, of the 20th through, you know, he's probably going to be here that whole week, the 20th through uh, the 28th. He's going to Congress, he's going to the UN, the whole thing. I believe that that particular encyclical is a covenant, or the covenant that is made with the many. Many who would follow that covenant, the agreement. Now, um, uh, Uh, just hang with me for a second. Let me get my thoughts in order. Uh, the oh yeah, Tammuz. Tammuz starts July the fourth, which is interesting. I got this off of uh, watching um, watching uh, Jonathan uh, Matthew Wright uh, the other day, who pointed out some very interesting things about Denver Airport and things like that. Um, hmm. It says in the Bible, no man knows the day or the hour, but it says we will know when it's near even at the gates. So this thing is near and it's even at the gates. And it might not have, the, the, the removal, the taking out, uh, the catching away, you want to call it that, the catching away, um, how about this, the transformation, or the, how do we say that? The uh, from one to the other, we're moving from one realm into the other realm. It all has to do with the veil, the veil being removed. Once that veil is removed and pulled down, as I've said in other videos, the this world turns into the hell on earth and we're not going to be part of that so brothers and sisters if you believe on the Lord Jesus he is the way the truth and the life trust him look to him he'll get us through he's going to bring us this in this hour, there's no reason to be afraid.
I guess we could, our flesh tends to worry. We tend to worry about the way things are and what's going to happen next and all that. Well, it's in God's hands. Whatever happens, happen, whatever happens next is in God's hands. He loves us. He is our creator. He is the creator of all things. We just have to trust, stand fast, and trust in Him. Lean not unto your own understanding. <laughs> Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will direct your footsteps. God bless you. Uh, probably not much more I can say but the 23rd of September let's make it and let's see what happens on Rosh Hashanah this year the 13th we've got to get through some some months there's still a few months left here we got May June July August we've got four months so we touched the edge of September <clears throat> and a lot is happening throughout this country but through Christ we're able to do all things. Mm -hmm. All things. So thanks for watching. Probably not much of a video, but I do uh, just want you to know that I'm still here. I'm struggling away as normal. <laughs> but God loves us. He's going to supply our needs. And let's trust in Him. Alright? God bless you. And I'll hopefully make another one soon. God bless you.